In the state of education, the Department of Education unveiling its plan to tackle workforce shortages here in Arizona. ABC 15 political reporter Mark Phillips has more on a new effort combining private sector expertise with educational innovation for the future. At a signing ceremony Thursday, the Arizona Education Economic Commission was created, a collaboration between education and industry to develop and maintain Arizona's future workforce. My biggest fear in what hasn't happened today is not necessarily the workforce that's today and available. It's three years from now. The Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company's chip manufacturing plant in North Phoenix already pushed back its start date to 2025 because it won't have enough trained workers to do the jobs necessary. The only way we're going to do that is with qualified, diverse workers, and that's why we're all here together committing to go get stuff done. During former Governor Doug Ducey's administration, the state invested in Arizona's community college system, encouraging companies like Lucid Motors in Pinal County to develop curriculums that could create a homegrown workforce. The newly created commission will use a model created by the nation of Switzerland, which begins apprentice programs as early as junior high school. They're going to be ready to go, let's say, as CNAs or medical assistants. Start working, start getting that benefits, 401k, and then let's stair stack them up into post-secondary with nursing. The goal will be to build a scalable work-based and learning apprenticeship program for multiple disciplines. How that will look in a year or so remains to be seen. But the commission says it's committed to the challenge. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.